Eight to Jensen on left wing. Rudy the save, and he'll hold on to it. Francis Getty decked. Low getting to his skates as you see Kelly Rudy and now Francis Getty. Well, he figures I'm down here. I may as well get a little bit of a rest because there's no rush. They've got to drop the puck. Here's the uh, Washington Capitals. Jensen picks up a pass from Francis Getty. Look at the shot up high. Kelly Rudy jumping up to block it in front of him. Francis Getty gets knocked to the ice. There's the play again at the blue line as Francis Getty gets it to Jensen. His shot easily handled by Kelly Rudy as he cradles it in his two arms, stopping the play. The Islanders had relieved the pressure for a while. But that give them a chance then to make some quick changes, and that's what you have to do. The coaches will tell you in the dressing room what guys every chance to get. 30 seconds, 40 seconds, you're out on the ice, that's enough. But don't come off unless you know we have clear possession of the puck, and it's not in our end or approaching our end of the ice. That's what makes it tough here for the Islanders because they're a long way from their end of the ice if Washington keeps them down there. Gould and LaFontaine on the faceoff. Caps out shooting the Islanders 8-4 to four in the overtime. LaFontaine out battling Gould on the draw. The puck comes back to Stevens. Let's it go. Deflect just wide as it came off the stick in front of the net. Kinnean with it. He's bumped by Miller. Kinnean kicks the puck into the corner and Alan Kerr comes up with it. Alan Kerr moves out on right wing. The Caps drop back into center ice and Kerr shoots it in. Takes Greg Gilbert after it. Duchesne arrives on the scene. Duchesne to Stevens. Over center ice. Stevens lays it into the corner to the left of Kelly Rudy. LaFontaine is back. Around the boards, up the right wing to Miko Makula. Makula pokes it away from Stevens. Got a break down the right side. Makula trying to cut it on Francis Getty, and he got in too deep and shot it wide. Here's Conroy. Steve Conroy knocked it away. Picked up by Murphy. Murphy twisting and turning as Crom stuck with him. The pass to Stevens. Off the board. Two-line pass to Francis Getty. He kicked at the puck. Play stoppage with 11 minutes and 36 seconds left in the first overtime period. Diamonds, GIA, and... In Classic Contest, presented by Panasonic. John D'Amico drops the puck. Wood tied up Miller, but Langway cut across and has given it to Duchesne. Duchesne plays it up the right side into center ice. Gould brings it into the Islander zone offside. This is the seventh overtime playoff game in the league this season. The longest overtime before tonight was 10-17 Toronto at St. Louis in game two back on April the 9th. Rick Lance scored to give Toronto a 3-2 win in that hockey game and Toronto, of course, ended up winning the series four games to two. Fontaine and Gould once more on the faceoff. Jensen on the right, Duchesne on the left for the Caps, and Kenny Miller serves it up the middle to pass to Fontaine. Over to the left side, Greg Gilbert tied up, LaFontaine with it. Hatcher takes him off the puck. Gilbert and Jensen battle for it. LaFontaine trying to move it away from Hatcher. Now Gilbert arrives on the scene. Jensen ties him up on the board. Bobby Gould got a stick on it. What a battle for it. Finally Gould with it again has cleared it out into center ice and Morrow drops back. Kenny Morrow plays it into the Washington zone. Hatcher trying to clear it out. Put it in the skates of Makala. Knocked away from him and Langway has it. Rod Langway left side to Duchesne. Duchesne lost it at center ice. Recovered and dumped it in across the blue line. Gordy Deneen clears that out to Trotche. Now to Richard Crom. Crom over the line with Trotche trailing. He gave Trotche the puck and his shot hit the goal post. Richard Crom from behind the net goes to the far corner. Crom feeds it across. It's intercepted by Christian. Listen to the broken pass. Crom was all over Gartner. And as the Islanders get back to touch up, we have an icing call. Very frustrating for a player like Mike Gardner, but best he hold his cool. You remember in game six, he got a two-minute penalty near the end of a hockey game and then took a 10-minute misconduct. Brian Murray retaining some of his composure. There you go. He couldn't hold it too, too long. But he's wondering what it takes. Here's Christian now. You see him gain the blue line. Gardner has taken off. He's trying to get away from the Islander checking him, but he can't. As Richard Crom held him in close check, Steve Conroy touches the puck, and that's for icing. 
Jay and Ridley on the faceoff. This is the only playoff game left to be decided in the opening round in the National Hockey League. The American Hockey League playoffs were continuing tonight with the Caps farm team at Binghamton. Hoping to eliminate New Haven. Conroy with a shot. Big save by Mason. Lapley with it. Puts it out in front. Trotche couldn't steer it by Murphy. And Gartner has moved it up to Christian. Loops it in from center ice. Gordy Deneen after it. Slapped it off Ridley. Back of the net. Trotche has it. Ryan Trotche to Dwayne Sutter. Christian tying him up. Dwayne Sutter has it in his skates. It comes over the line. Ridley is checked. The puck still loose. Conroy looks for it. It goes off Ridley. Conroy kicking it along the boards. Now out into some open ice, and it got away from Deneen. He's able to cover up and clear it. Trache has it. Trache to Flatley. Flatley dumps it in around Stevens. Hatcher goes back. Gave it to Stevens. Off the boards, out to center ice for Greg Adams. Adams plays it into the far corner, as you might expect. There's Francis Getty after it. He's checked by Alan Kerr. Adams gets to the puck. Greg Adams feeds the point. Hatcher with a shot that deflected, and Rudy has steered it to the corner. Bobby Basson up to Dwayne Sutter. Sutter comes to the center ice zone. The pass through. Johnson is across the Washington line. Johnson in front to Basson. He shoots. Mason the save. Oh, my goodness. Do you believe that stuff? That's the best stop of the hockey game. Mason coming up very, very big as Bob Basson got in behind. They forgot about him. Thomas Johnson held the puck just long enough and a perfect pass. There's Bobby Basson all alone. Mason moved quickly, shut off the angle, and came up with a puck. A game-saving, a series-saving save by Mason off Bob Basson in beautiful style. We've seen Kelly Rudy make several in this hockey game, but none can surmount. None is bigger than the one just made by Mason, saving the game for the Washington Capitals, as Bob Basson had snuck in behind the Washington defenders. Each team with eight shots on goal here in the overtime. Remember, Washington had about eight shots before the Islanders had two or three on the board. The Islanders have taken over somewhat, and now out comes Hatcher. Hatcher shooting it in. Harold Vinnick after it, gets it to Greg Gilbert. Gilbert clears it out of the zone. Hatcher waits at center ice. Got it back in. Vinnick picks it up. Gerald Vinnick slaps it off the glass. Out to center ice. LaFontaine. Bump from behind. Now Makula's pass goes to Leiter. Leiter a drive. Mason the save. Juggles it off the stick and gets it into the catching glove. Then it across to Stevens. Stevens to Gaetan Duchesne. Duchesne at center ice. Plays it into the corner. Trache will take it there. Ryan Trache to Makula. Makula dumps it to center. Stevens handling it. Got Stevens twisting and turning. Over to Mike Gartner. Gartner flips it into center ice. Gordy Deneen knocked it down. Plays it up the left side, but flatly it stepped in across the line before the puck for an offside. Garden State Brick Base windows and siding makes remodeling your home easy, affordable, and fast. Garden State Brick Base, a name recognized in the remodeling industry for over 50 years, has set the standard in exterior remodeling. Select from the many economical and attractive choices in durable brick, stucco, or vinyl siding. And you don't have to spend a fortune. Garden State Brick Base has the right choice for your budget. And we can help with the financing. Call today to schedule a free design consultation and in-home computer demonstration. Our professionally trained and supervised craftsmen will remodel your home, plus you'll have the satisfaction of maintenance-free and fully guaranteed workmanship. Quality and your satisfaction are number one. Your home can go from this to this in just three days or less with just one phone call. Call today. They read this way, flatly from Conroy and Trache, Trache from Kerr and Conroy. For the Caps, it's been Martin from Adams and Murphy, Gartner from Adams and Stevens in the first period. Larry Murphy over center ice, shoots it in. And Morrow picked up the puck. Kenny Morrow up the right wing board. Out to Greg Gilbert. Gilbert 
On to Macula. Works on Langway as he comes in off right wing. Held it. Gave it to LaFontaine, who was too well covered. Now Pat LaFontaine to Greg Gilbert. Goes back to the net, trying to get away from Murphy. Puts on the brakes. Centering attempt is broken up, and out come the Caps. Kelly Miller with it at center. Miller has Duchesne moving up with him. The pass across, and Duchesne tied up by Morrow. Fine defensive move by Kenny Morrow on Gaetan Duchesne. Johnson with the puck. Shoots from outside the line, and it just went wide of Bob Mason. Richard Crom plays it across. Knocked down. Crom gets to it again, trying to center it. Christian is there. Dave Christian shoots it down the ice. Rudy will play it. Got it away from Gartner, around to Kenny Leiter. Leiter's pass to Flatley, off his gates. Flatley recovers, gives it to Diddick. Diddick moves in on Stevens and shot it off. The defenseman, after with it, goes back to the net. Around to Gartner, got between his gates, and Leiter feeds it into the corner for Patrick Flatley. Flatley centers one. It's impressive, Flatley being tied up by Christian. Wayne centers at him, then it goes off Gautier, and Duchesne clears it outside the blue line. Flatley puts it back in as Wayne Sutter gets back on side. Hatcher chases it. Kevin Hatcher. Up the middle he comes. The big rangy defenseman shoots it in around the board. Alan Kerr takes it here on right wing and starts out. Kerr over center ice. Moves on Langway. Gets to the Washington line. Now across the line with a pass to Basson. Basson in off left wing. Centers Wayne Sutter in. He can't slip it by Mason who has it in the catching glove. What a stop again by Bob Mason. This time Wayne Sutter snuck in behind. The Islanders finding a way to get the opportunities. The kind of opportunities that should end a hockey game. There's Basson as he passes to Dwayne Sutter. Perfect pass. Sutter goes to the backhand. His shot. Look at the catching mitt. It's in the mitt. He's got it. Sutter tries to jam ahead. Cut the puck loose. Get it out of his mitt. Have it trickle across the line. It doesn't work. Beautiful pass. Beautiful play. Good move by Sutter. And captured beautifully by the goaltender Bob Mason. Let's take both teams to Philadelphia for Monday night. <laughs> Well, normally that play would have had a goal. Normally the play by Bob Basson would have had a goal. But Bob Mason comes up extremely big for the Washington Capitals, and the Islanders are finding a hole in the dike. Can they open it up a little more? Randy Wood on left wing, Pat LaFontaine at center ice with Miko Makala on the right side. It's Leiter and Diddick at the points. The puck cleared back to the left point. Leiter plays it around the boards. Greg Smith steps in front of LaFontaine, and Langway takes over. Rod Langway. The pass into center ice to Bob Gould, and he shoots it into the Islander territory. Duchesne in forechecking as Rudy has cleared the puck to Makula. Got away from him. Martin shot toward the net. Oh, and it's Peter just wide on a deflection. Oh, an anxious moment right there. Now Randy Wood on left wing. Backhands it off the boards into center ice. LaFontaine moves up. On Smith, LaFontaine got hit hard. His helmet came flying off, and here's Gould shooting it into the Islander zone. Harold Diddick clears it out to Brian Trotche. Up the boards to Makala. Across the Washington line with Wood. Makala waits, waits, then played it in just wide of the net. Ridley gets to it. Mike Ridley takes it back from Christian. Comes over center ice. Ridley into the Islander zone, cutting the left wing. Chased in around behind the net. Lord Deneen knocked the puck away from him. They continue the battle for it. Now Gartner moves in. The puck kicks behind the goal. Chasing it is Christian. Christian centers. Crutche has it. Ahead to Randy Wood. Wood comes over center ice and dumps it in. Then he goes for a rest. Flatley chases it as Hatcher gets back. A little less than two minutes to go in the overtime. First sudden death overtime. Hatcher over center ice. Long shot. Rudy steers it aside. Pavanka with the rebound. And he shot that one wide. Bounces to the blue line. Hatcher held it in. Hatcher is checked. His passing clears it to center. Picked up by Jensen. Got it back in. Rudy leaves it. Then played it away from Crom around to Basson. Basson has dumped it to center ice. Stevens waits. Shoots it off the glass in the Islander zone. It comes to the near side. Gordy Deneen clears it out into center ice. Off Basson. Right to Stevens. Johnson clears that from the Islander line. Off Greg Smith. Smith up the middle of the ice. Shoots from the blue line, off the goal post, oh mercy! Out at center ice, it's shot right back in again and knocked down by Deneen. Deneen comes to center and dumps it around the boards in the cap zone, it got away from Mason, Wayne Sutter with it. 
Butter plays it into the corner. Langway after it. Kerr is there. Rod Langway to Gould. He's wrapped up. Alan Kerr can't get to it. Langway does and plays it around the boards down into the Allender zone. No icing as Kenny Morrill comes back. Half a minute to go in the first sudden death overtime. Morrow plays it away from Miller. Over to Leiter to the blue line. Murphy's pass deflected. Rudy has it in the catching glove. Took it away from Kelly Miller with 19 seconds left. A deflection. Nothing can be worse for a goaltender at any time. And Miller deflected Larry Murphy's shot. It wasn't a hard shot, but it was on target. Here, Smith a moment ago at the blue line gets a lot on it. What a blast by Smith. Watch to the left. Bang. Off the goal post. Kelly Rudy just misplayed it, and it went off the goalpost to the corner of the rink. Tough break for the Washington Capitals. Big break for the New York Islanders. The Islanders out shooting the Caps 11 to 10 in this overtime. You think of the chances that Basson had and Dwayne Sutter had. Now the chances that the Islander, or the Caps have had. And here we sit with 19 seconds left in the first sudden death. Rache and Ridley on the draw. Ridley to Christian, to Murphy, shoots one. Rudy has that. No problem, catching glove save. Nobody could get to the net quick enough. The Washington Capitals do a good job winning the draw. Murphy had to get the shot away. He had one of the Islanders bearing down on him, so he couldn't wait any longer. And it's a lousy gamble there to try and step around somebody. That's breakaway material if you gamble that way. Rache on the draw. The puck went to Conroy. Plays it around behind the net. Caps get to it. It's Gartner in the corner to Ridley. Trache knocks it away from him. Bobby Basson trying to get away from Stevens at the line. Has cleared it out, and that's going to do it. Time runs out as the Islanders moved up two on one. Bassett and Crom with only Murphy back. But we will have another intermission and another sudden death overtime yet to unfold here at a sold out Capital Center in Landover, Maryland. Your score at the end of 80 minutes is the Islanders 2 and the Washington Capitals 2. We're going to take a break and return to Landover, Maryland right after these messages. Life is calling, let's start living it Take tonight, by the reins and harness it Out to the Meadowland, come on, let's go Where winners play and adrenaline flows It's all about being here It's what your soul understands It's all about being here The Meadowland this weekend is Meadowlands Racetrack's 10th Annual Winter Festival. There's an indoor carnival, live DJ, 11 races a day, and great dining. It's family entertainment with an adult twist. My CEO doesn't muse over the inner workings of fiber optic telecommunications networks. The board doesn't dream about information screaming through wires at light speed. They care about performance. Do I have to give up reliability or customer service for a fair price? We need all three. Telecom isn't just about bottom line, it's about value. when the news is breaking. Now is why Cablevision built Optimum, the most astonishing fiber optic digital network in the nation. Amazing IO Interactive Optimum. Optimum Online Super High Speed Internet. Optimum Voice Flat Rate Unlimited Calling. Now is what they'll be talking about tomorrow. Welcome to now. Welcome to Optimum. You're watching Islanders Classic Contests, presented by Panasonic on FSN New York. And we are headed for the opening face-off of this second overtime period. Bob Mason to the left, Kelly Rudy to the right. At LaFontaine, out with Greg Gilbert and Miko Makala. Conroy and Deneen on defense. Conroy handling the puck with a pass to Deneen, up to Makala. His shot was blocked by Stevens. Here's Deneen trying the left wing boards. Gilbert can't get to it. Hatcher has it. 
Gave it to Stevens in his own end of the ice. Off the boards, out to Duchesne. Let it go, and Conroy plays it ahead to Gordonin. Gets over the line, but Makala not able to get back on side in time. One of the little ploys that they use throughout the game and also in overtime. Just hold the player in as long as you can. Makala was being held in to Washington's end of the ice, creating the offside. Of course, now we have a, uh, a situation where the Islanders, if they can get the pressure on the Washington Capitals while the Washington bench is the nearest bench, it would still be tough for Washington to make a move as far as getting fresh troops with any kind of a sustained offensive attack for the Islanders. Fontaine and Gould on the draw. LaFontaine wins it, getting it back into his own zone where Janssen picks it up. Gould into forecheck. Janssen played it off the boards. Off to Shane. Gartner can't break in around Greg Gilbert. Thomas Janssen slaps it up the boards. And LaFontaine has cleared it to center down into the Washington zone. Langway after it. Over to Murphy. Now to Langway. The Gould at center ice. Gould across the Islander line. Cutting to the right side. Shoots one. Rudy escapes. Save. Janssen has it. Trying to play it up along the boards. Reverses things and gets it around to Makula. Gets it away from Langway and Prom goes after it. Prom can't get around Murphy at the Washington line. Bobby Gould into the Islander zone. It's knocked off his stick. Gartner gets to it. Shoots one. Rudy the save. And the rebound is cleared back of the net. Comes out in front. Oh, what a save. Rudy off Gould right at the side of the net. More pressure by the Washington Capitals as they storm across the blue line. Mike Gardner, Gaetan Duchesne, then Gould finished it off, bringing the puck back out in front. Here's Gardner with his shot. Kelly Rudy makes the stop, controlled the rude rebound partially. Deneen shot it to the corner. Here comes Gould. He pulled it out to his backhand, got the shot away quickly. Right pad save by Kelly Rudy. Here's Gould a little earlier. As he turned, let the shot go. Watch the right skate. Boom, good stop by Kelly Rudy. He had enough weight on his left foot that he was able to move the right one out and make the save off Gould. The Washington Capitals getting a couple of scoring opportunities early in the second overtime. Three shots on goal for the Caps as they start quickly. Ridley back to the net. Trache knocked the puck from him. Picked up by Conroy. Up the right wing boards to Flatley. To Trache back to Flatley. Across the line, the pass blocked by Stevens. Scott Stevens, a hand pass to Christian, and there's no further play. Isolating one defenseman, that's what the Islanders did when Brian Trotche tied this hockey game back in the third period, and it was against Scott Stevens when Alan Kerr made the pass to Trotche. They were trying to set up the same play that time, but Scott Stevens was able to break it up, and finally, with a hand pass, stopped the play. Bassin up with Dwayne Sutter and Randy Wood. Leiter and Diddick on defense. Ridley and Bassin on the draw. Bassin squaring the puck. Knocked loose by Randy Wood. Ridley after it. He gets checked. Bassin goes back to the net. Stevens got a piece of him. The puck cleared around the board. Randy Wood and Ridley go to the ice. Lou Francis Getty has cleared one high over the glass and into the crowd. Stevens and Basson had themselves a personal war back of Bob Mason. Well, this is the longest game in the history of either team. Neither one of these teams, the Washington Capitals or the Islanders, has gone longer than right now in an overtime game. Oh, all kinds of things happen. The game started on Saturday night. Will it end on Sunday? <laughs> We're approaching the midnight hour. Diddick with a shot to change direction. Comes out in front, back to the point for Leiter. Backhanded it into the corner. Randy Wood has given it to Dwayne Sutter. Put it out in front. Passing couldn't get a stick on it. Diddick lost his balance, and here's Francis Getty on a break with Christian. Francis Getty to Christian. It's cut off by Rudy on the short side. Picked up by Diddick. He waited too long to move the puck. Big break for the Washington Capitals, and they couldn't take an advantage. The net has come off. The reason for the play stoppage back in the Islanders' zone. Gerald Diddick lost his balance at the blue line. He moved in like he was going to intercept the pass. Here's Francis Getty. He waited too long. Then the pass across went right to Kelly Rudy. It went more as a shot than it did a pass. And a two-on-one break voided when Francis Getty held the puck just a little too long. 
tough play to make, though, because you're too wide and too far out to take a shot. And the minute you get it, if you don't make the move right away, then, of course, the further down the boards you go, then you're giving the Islanders time to really regroup and get back, which they did. So by the time he did get beyond Basson, who was back-checking, it was too late to get it to his teammate. So Francis Getty, with a two-on-one break, they didn't get a shot on goal. Caps dumped it in. Pat LaFontaine has dumped it out. Murphy over to Langway. Lays it into center ice. Morrow waiting for it. Backhands it to the Washington line. Murphy waved at it, and Langway has to chase the puck. Rod Langway clears it up the boards. Off Janssen skates. It goes to Murphy, and he's dumped it out to center where Morrow cuts it off. Right wing to Bacala. Steps over the line, working on Langway. Makala goes behind the net with it, comes out on the backhand. The pass cut off, and here's Murphy. Murphy, back to give it to Duchesne instead. They're over the line. Duchesne to Gartner. Gartner lost it. Bobby Gould is checked by Makala, and here's Alan Kerr. Pulls it away from Gartner's check. Kerr comes over, center right. Shoots from the blue line, wide of Mason on the stick side. Stevens handling it as it came off the boards. Gave it to Francis Getty. To Francis Getty, checked at center ice. Steve Conroy moves up with it. Francis Getty knocked him down. Murphy plays it rink wide off the boards for Jensen on the left side. Jensen over the line with a shot. That missed on the stick side of Kelly Rudy. Steve Conroy with the puck. The pass to Flatley. Flatley shoots it in around Stevens. Off the glass and into the crowd. That'll bring the face off outside as he tried to wrap it around, get something going for the Islanders. into the crowd. Same flavor here in the second overtime as we had in the first. The team still skating fairly well. Of course, they're going to skate a little better in the first half of the overtime than they will in the second. Again, I associate that with two fighters that come out dancing and blistering in the early part of a late round, and then they slowly run out of gas. Just who's going to leave an opening and who's going to throw a knockout punch? Dittick shot it in from center ice, and the Caps start out with it. Francis Getty has given it to Pavanka. Over the Islander line, Dittick chased him wide as Pavanka played it across the goal mouth. Greg Gilbert bothered from behind. Lighter with it. Stepped away from a check, gave it to Greg Gilbert. Gilbert, a long pass to Dwayne Sutter, trying to get a step on Stevens, and out of the net is Mason to slap it off the glass. The Caps get to it and break up three on one. Francis Getty had trouble handling it. Picks it up again, cuts it off right wing. Rudy the save, and it ends up behind the net. Loose puck picked up by Gilbert. 53 shots on goal in this game for the Caps now. Wayne Sutter sent LaFontaine over the line, and Stevens sent him flying. Moving up the right side is Ridley. Into the Islanders zone, pulls up the step by Johnson, and the Islanders start out. Randy Wood and LaFontaine, now three on two at the blue line, and they move in offside. Classic Contests on FSN New York is presented by Panasonic. Ideas for life. It's my game. My picture. It's my movies. My favorite TV shows. Panasonic introduces the only DVD recorder with a hard drive that stores up to 700 hours of your favorite stuff and saves it all on DVD. It's my home video. It's my vacation. It's gotta be my game. These are my TV shows. Your Life. Wow. Now available on DVD. Panasonic. Ideas for life. McDonald's, New York Metro, Verizon Wireless, and the New York Knicks salute Black History Month. My childhood hero was uh, Muhammad Ali. I admired him for the courage that he had to fight against things that were unjust. Sports at that time was a huge catalyst for the civil rights movement because that was the one true place where you can bring black and white together and everybody was just rooting for one man against another. We now move ahead in Classic Contest, presented by Panasonic. Gartner, Pavanka, and Jensen for the Caps. Murphy and Stevens on defense. The Islanders with a forward line of Alan Kerr, Richard Crom, and Brian Fratje. It's Deneen and Conroy playing defense. There isn't one player on either team, Jigs, with the exception, of course, of goaltenders that doesn't think that that goal is in his stick. Somewhere it's in there, and he's going to dig down and give it the everything he's got to try and 
get it to come out. There isn't one player without that thought. Can only be that way. Trache beaten on the draw. Murphy shot. Rudy the save, and Deneen slaps the rebound, but not out. Stevens across to Murphy. Murphy goes to the forehand. Now a backhand shot off the goalpost. Jensen left it in the corner, and Pavonka's there. The David Jensen can't get away from Deneen's check. Murphy moves in off the point. Tied up on the boards with Prom. The puck has gone to Conroy, to Deneen. Deneen up the right side. Kerr relayed it off. Trache picks it up again. Comes over the Washington line. Alan Kerr with a shot. Glove saved by Mason. Oh, he reaches behind to cover it. And now some pushing and shoving in the corner as Scott Stevens came barreling in. Everybody converges, but Mason came up with a tremendous stop. I think what happened is that they felt that the puck was dead. Mason had a hold of it, and one of the Islanders came charging through and hammered away at the hand. Stevens, excuse me, and Alan Kerr. There's the shot by Kerr, the stop. The puck rolled off his glove behind him. He put his hand on it, held it. Stevens was there, and then boom, through come Alan Kerr to try and spirit it loose. Scott Stevens comes after Kerr. You can see them get ready. A slashing penalty to Kerr, but Scott Stevens means more probably to the defense of the Washington Capitals than the talents of Alan Kerr to the offense right now of the Islanders. Gilbert on the left side, Dwayne Sutter on the right with Bassett in the middle. Jensen, Pavanka, and Francis Getty, the forwards for the Caps, as Langway has shot it down the ice. Rudy will leave it for Morrow. Kenny Morrow banks one off the glass, out of the reach of Gilbert. Deflection, no icing. Hatcher with the puck. Around the boards for David Jensen. Up to Pavanka, went off his skates. Gilbert tying up Jensen, the puck kicked loose. Bobby Bassett with it over on right wing. Bassett has given it to Janssen. Johnson up the left wing boards. Greg Gilbert slaps it into the Washington zone. Mason moves out of the net to cut it off. Langway, the Hatcher. Kevin Hatcher's pass deflects off Gilbert, picked up by Basson. Basson looks for somebody in front. Held it, held it, put it out in front, and on a deflection, it goes to Ridley on right wing. Now to Francis Getty, separated from the puck by Dwayne Sutter's check. Getty Leiter flips it inside the Washington territory. Hatcher brings it back. Long shot wide of Rudy, rattles off the glass over to Miko Makala. Makala down the right wing, across the Washington line. Makala puts on the break, shoots one, Mason the save. LaFontaine can't get it away from Hatcher. They tie up on the end boards, and the puck went to Ridley. He is checked by Makala and ends up back in the net. Starting out is Greg Smith with a pass to Kelly Miller. Miller cuts into the middle, out of left wing. Trying to get around Deneen, breaks in, Makala slows him up, Miller holds on to the puck and right out of skating room. Deneen down on the ice. Christian digs the puck out of the corner, plays it to the front of the net, a backhander, Rudy slaps that away, it's loose and spins just wide of the net. Conroy up to Makala. Can't get it outside the blue line, the cap shoot it back in, a high shot, knocked down by Ridley, centers, loose puck and out comes Makala. He and Randy Wood come to center ice. Akala shoots it in. Wood goes after it. Randy Wood knocked it away. Put it back to the blue line. Troche comes in with it. Brian Troche shot to a screen. Wood is there. He shoots. Randy Wood battling in the goal mouth. And Mason has blocked it and held on. As Shane cross-checked him a couple of times. And now this is the result. Shows you how wrong I can be. Wow. Mason goes down heavily. Randy Wood had a great opportunity to end the hockey game. Mason made a couple of good stops off him. And then from there, some wild punches were thrown. Duchesne was cross-checking. I think Duchesne was cross-checking Randy Wood. There's the shot by Trache. Look at Randy Wood as he's in on top of the goaltender. There he turns and shoots, stopped by Mason. He looked back. The puck was under him. Randy Wood jammed at it again. Mason finally gets it. There's Duchesne cross-checking Randy Wood. Then he leans on him, and then bang, he hit him again. And whack, you see his head go sideways. Richard Crom punched Gaetan Duchesne, and then things started to break loose. Let's look again. Washington coughed the puck up. Troche shot. Mason got in front of it. Randy Wood shoots. Look at how close that came to going under. How close it came to going under. Look at that. He jammed at it again. Mason's got a hold of it. And then the pileup. Duchesne gets hit from behind, and then bang, into the kidneys of Randy Wood. 
Duchesne takes a punch from Crom and then everything breaks loose. I suppose the shame of it all is, is that Andy Van Helleman doesn't have any choice but to give out a penalty or two as Bob Mason gets a little refreshment from his water bottle on top of the net. Flatley gets a high sticking penalty and Duchesne a cross-checking penalty. Exactly two minutes. Excuse me, uh, two minutes and three seconds after the penalties to Kerr and Stevens. So Kerr and Scott Stevens have been released, and now Duchesne and Flatley take up positions in the penalty box. Rache with Kerr and Crom, Janssen and Morrow, Bobby Gould on this face-off has Gartner on one side and Francis Getty on the other. The Islanders got the drawback to Morrow, to Kerr, to Crom. To Alan Kerr, comes in front. The puck knocked off his stick, and Gartner breaks out. Rache chases him into center ice, and Gartner dumps it in high around the glass. Francis Getty in after it, right up with Janssen. Rache moves in, can't get it out of the skates of Francis Getty. Bobby Gould did. Gould puts it in front. Rudy steers that aside. Here's Stevens with a shot. Blocked in front of the net. Stevens has it again. A backhander through a screen is knocked down. Gould is flattened as he went to shoot it. And Trache moved it to Janssen. Now to Richard Crom at center ice. At the Trache on left wing. Four on two as they move over the line. Alan Kerr with a blast. And Mason makes the save. Bobby Gould left it in the corner for Hatcher. What a blast and a deflection. And Mason was able to get a glove on it. Gartner shoots it in from center ice. Wayne Sutter goes back for it. Just over eight minutes to play in the second sudden death overtime period at Washington as Conroy has dumped it in. Passing in after it, trying to get away from Langway. He's knocked down behind the net. The puck comes loose. Wayne Sutter has it in his skates, gets double team. Sutter can't get it to Conroy, and out comes Pavanka. Pavanka's pass knocked away from Deneen as Adams moved up. Greg Gilbert back for the Islanders. Gilbert up to Basson, off his stick into center ice. Chasing it is Greg Smith. To Jensen, give away to Pat LaFontaine. He shoots, big save by Mason. LaFontaine plays the rebound behind the net to Randy Wood. To Dwayne Sutter, out in front, Langway cut off the pass. Langway lifts it high down the ice. An icing call coming up as Kenny Leiter goes back to touch the puck. MSG Network is College Hoops headquarters with more than 100 live games from the Big East, MAC, and conferences all across the country. MSG is all over the local phase like St. John, Seton Hall, Manhattan, Syracuse, and defending champs UConn. Plus national powerhouses like Arizona, Duke, UCLA, and BC. Tip it off every week with some of the best college hoops anywhere. On the road to another March Madness. Catch more great Big East action as the Johnnies head north to take on Syracuse Wednesday night only on MSG. is a better way to have fun with history. Visit americaslibrary.gov. Log on, play around, learn something. New York sports fans, you're in control with MSG Network's state-of-the-art game director. Catch fast-breaking mix action just the way you want it, right from your living room. Miss something on the high angle? Go to the low angle. Missed a pass from the broadcast angle? Go to the courtside angle. Make your home sports watching experience like the hand in classic contests presented by Panasonic. Misconduct. Oh, it's only a misconduct, family folks, but it does get Adams out of here. A 10-minute misconduct to Adams. Here's Gould. He broke in. Steve Conroy got just enough of him. You see how he held him up? He couldn't get to the puck. Kelly Rudy then was able to slide it off into the corner. That's where the play all broke loose. And here's Duchesne as he passes it into the front, turning around, Gould backhand shot. Kelly Rudy with a left pad save. He was just hoping. He's down covering the low ice, just hoping that that shot will hit him. And it did on the left pad, deflected into the corner. Adams gets a 10-minute misconduct. He has cracked a little underneath the pressure, the fatigue of this hockey game. The shots on goal for anyone interested by the Washington Capitals. 60 by the New York Islanders, 
40. 100 shots on goal in this game. <laughs> That's more than most practices have. Oh. Oh, boy. Right from the draw, Trache gets it to Alan Kerr. Kerr starts out on the right side, off the boards. Langway will pick it up at center ice. Backhands it to Gartner, relayed it neatly. Ridley coming in, and Trache knocked it away from him. Mike Ridley comes out of the corner. Rudy out of the net has given it to Alan Kerr. Kerr to Conroy. The center ice, the pass to Crom. Dumps it into the corner. Trache goes after it with Langway. Langway taking out back of the net. Crom puts it in front of the deflection. That's one wide. And now the puck goes off the stick and over the glass. Some more jostling after the whistle. We're back to square one in this series. Boy, the guys must have a little more energy than I'm giving them credit for. That was just a brief encounter. When you think about it, they get into the third overtime period. That's going to be close to two full hockey games. <laughs> That's something. <laughs> a double dipper. Some great hockey. Players digging down deep. Pat LaFontaine is taking the face off. And the Caps clear the draw over the glass and into the crowd off Murphy's stick. You had a look along the Islander bench. You can't help but think, if you're an Islander fan and have been over the years, look at the effort of this team without people like Brent Sutter, Michael Bossy, Denny Potvin. Brent Sutter, of course, on the bench. Now we look down the Washington players' bench. They're doing it without Haworth and Lachlan. And really, I guess you look back and what happened a year ago, they're also doing it without Bent Gustafson. They did it last year, eliminating the Islanders. Gustafson went back to Sweden. Here's a chance for Greg Gilbert to LaFontaine. Got tripped up by Stevens. Gilbert goes back to the net for it. Put it to the side of the net. In and out of the skates of Mason. And held at the post for a face-off. A jam session in the goal of Bob Mason. And he had his feet locked together. The Islanders try to push feet, puck, anything else that's in the way across the goal line. But Andy Van Helleman blew the whistle. There's the pressure. Pat LaFontaine started it. Greg Gilbert behind the net. Both defensemen. There's Murphy and Scott Stevens behind the net. The puck got out in front. Mason standing like a brick wall built by a Mason. <laughs> now just to ease the tension a little bit, I'm going to mention that the concession stands are still open here at the Capitol Center and the pizza is looking more and more appealing as some really? folks have gone to the some concession Some of the folks stand. behind us were complaining that they closed the concession stands. I guess that's not true. They're open again because we got people filing by us here with the goodies. <laughs> <laughs> no, not this late at night anyway. Basson with Randy Wood on the left, Wayne Sutter on the right, Leiter and Diddick at the point. And Martin is taking the face off for the Caps. It was Grant Martin who got a big goal for Washington late in the second period. And now he is arguing with Juan Finn about the face off. And Mr. Basson, will you please put your stick down first? Basson wins the draw. Diddick with a shot from the point that's blocked. Picked off by Francis Getty, and that becomes with Gaetan Duchesne. Long shot wide of Rudy. Diddick is there, plays it off the boards, out to center ice. Wayne Sutter to Randy Wood. Wood had it in his skates, now gives it to Leiter. Kenny Leiter over the line, and the shot went wide on the glove side. Duchesne has cleared it out. The Pavanka breaking pass, Francis Getty into the Islander zone. Morrow steps in front of him, and Diddick takes the puck. Less than two minutes to go in the second sudden death overtime. Larry Murphy crosses center ice into the Islander zone. Morrow chases him wide. Murphy centered, and that one off Rudy. Pavanka puts it right across in front of the net. Here's Murphy with a shot. Hit the outside of the net. Pavanka puts it in front of deflection. Ends up in the stick of Wood, now taken by Trotje. Ryan Trotje clears it out to center ice. Gartner with it there to Murphy, who missed it. Johnson moves over. Knocked away from him by Murphy and Kenny Morrow and Flatley go back together. Morrow picks up the puck. Morrow off the board. Flatley back into Ridley. The puck comes outside the line. Controlled by Stevens now. Long shot around the boards. In after it is Jensen. He gets bumped in the corner. Kenny Morrow with it. One minute Morrow minute. up the left wing to Trache. Out it goes to Flatley. Flatley and Crom two on two as they get over the line. Trache moving in as well as Flatley got turned around. Right up in the corner by Hatcher. Trache knocked the puck loose. Ridley picks it up. 
Mike Ridley up the left wing as the fans come to life again. Here's Ridley over center ice into the Islanders zone. Is taken off the puck by Conroy. Benin moves it out to Trache. Dumped it to the Washington blue line. Stevens with 32 seconds left. Christian to Gould. He shoots. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Did you see that save? Another save by Rudy. Trache handling the puck. Christian knocked it away. It came right in front, and Rudy dives on it and holds on. What a stop by Kelly Rudy. A beauty as the Washington Capitals with an excellent opportunity. Rudy spoils it all. No Easter egg there, guys. Point blank range. Here comes Gould. There's the shot. He had an opening. He saw it. But Kelly Rudy slammed the door, picked it off. Then when he tried to clear it, Lewis got the puck, let the shot go, and Kelly Rudy makes the stop. The rebound bounced straight out in front. Brian Trotche trying to control it, chipped in front again by Christian before Kelly Rudy could get a hold of it and stop the play. Close call, 19 seconds remaining in double overtime with that save. Kelly Rudy come up big for the Islanders. For any of you who have just tuned in, it is live. I'm Jake McDonald with Ed Westfall. Stan Fischler is with us here at the Capitol Center as well. We have 19 seconds remaining in the second sudden death overtime period. The score tied 2-2. It's been Flatley and Trotche for the Islanders. Gartner and Grant Martin, a rookie, scoring for the Caps. The Islanders have never led in this game. Caps were up 1-0. The Islanders tied it. They're up 2-1. to one. Trotche tied it. And here's a loose puck off Stevens. Out into center ice. Duchesne back. Gave it to Murphy. He's checked by Alan Kerr. Gartner gets it away from Kerr and forces it into the Islanders' zone. Deneen is back. Gordy Deneen finds an opening and slaps it down the ice wide. If Mason will go to the third sudden death overtime at the Capitol Center. 18,130 on hand. The Caps have now had 64 shots on goal in the game. Unbelievable when you think about it. The Islanders have had 41, I believe, is the number. And the teams head for the dressing room. The fans want to stretch their legs. The ones that can still get out of their chairs. End of two overtime periods. It's deadlocked at two. And it's not going anywhere for at least another 15 minutes. Contests presented by Panasonic on FSN New York. Steve Conroy out of the left wing corner, up the middle to Pat LaFontaine, comes over the line, gave it to Bacala, lets it go, and passed it off instead, and Gilbert couldn't get to it. Conroy does, dumping it back in the net, there's Stevens. Stevens pass to Gould, brought out by Murphy to Gartner on right wing. Mike Gartner waits, centers one across, and Duchesne missed it, and then goes into the boards heavily. Gilbert brings LaFontaine over center ice, across the Washington line, trying to get a step on goal, does, and he shot it just wide. Back to the net now, the Caps trying to clear it out, and when bouncing off, Makala back to the point tomorrow. In along the boards, it's broken up, and out comes Stevens with a pass to Gould, has Christian with him. Gould coming in on right wing, gets in deep, goes behind the net, put it out in front, and Christian shot it wide. Kelly Miller taken into the boards by Flatley's check. Loose puck, Christian is checked, and Pat LaFontaine moves it over to Crom. It just cleared it to center, and there's Stevens. Shot it back in, Crom brings it out. Make it Flatley, rather, bringing it out, and his shot goes off Scott Stevens, picking it up and starting out as Pavanka. Down the left side, Pavanka over the line. Shoots one wide of Rudy on the glove side. Francis Getty took it in his skates, lost it. Kenny Leiter gets to it. Leiter gives it to Trache on left wing. The pass to Flatley. Patrick Flatley's shot is a stick save by Mason. Sutter tied up by Hatcher. Cap move it to the right wing. Francis Getty to Pavanka. Pavanka over the blue line. Let's one go. Rudy the save. Picking it up is Diddick. Now to Dwayne Sutter. Sutter over center ice across the Washington line. The shot deflects off Murphy and up into the seat. Tell the players are feeling a little stronger at this point in the hockey game. As we had talked about, that cheer going up. Rod Langway, a little late coming out. There he is now. I did not spot the fact that he wasn't with the team when they came out to start the playoff. Pat LaFontaine gets in behind Gould and the Washington defenders. There's his shot. He was hooked from behind. That puck right at the camera lens. 
As he shot it wide, he had only a chance to flick it, which he did. It was wider than that. Back at the other end, Gaetan Duchesne, as he headed for the net, the pass came across. He couldn't get to it in time. He crashed into the end board. But a good attempt by Washington just after LaFontaine shot one wide. Bassett on the faceoff against Jensen. Bassett steps around Jensen, shoots one. Just wide of Bob Mason, and the Caps cleared high. Knocked down by Deneen. Hatcher with it. Kevin Hatcher gave it away. Bassett and Caps cut in, and out comes Pavanka. Pavanka into the Islanders zone. Oh, that's and Doe off Conroy, and that ends up in the seats. Deneen and Pavanka upset with oh. one another. Oh, Deneen just landed one right on the beak of Pavanka after Deneen had been tripped up. Going to be interesting here, Andy Van Helleman. Is he doing this for his show now? I wonder. Pavanka hasn't done anything. Deneen punched him right square in the face, and there is not going to be a penalty. So, Whew. if I was a Washington Capital, I would have to think, in all fairness, both teams could see it, all of the fans could see it, that I would be owed one. Here's Pavanka as he comes through the center ice area and then disappears. Gord Deneen landed a pretty good punch off the face shield of Pavanka. Pavanka had headed for the net after he took a shot. Deneen tried to cover him, fell down or was knocked down when he got up. He just uncorked one at the nose of Pavanka. Terry Murray, the assistant coach, over to talk to his brother, settled him down a little bit. Brian was just about ready to yell something to Andy Van Helleman. And Terry Murray soothed him. Well, we're probably now into the, you know, if it's not two players, it's not going to be one kind of situation. The Islanders starting out of their own zone. Conroy over center ice, shoots it in. Mason steers it to the corner. Makala tying up Duchesne, and Langway picks up the puck. Langway to the right side. Hatcher moves out of his own zone. LaFontaine checked him at center ice. Gould gets a stick on it. Gave the puck to Rod Langway. A shot scooped up by Rudy. Kelly plays it up the right side to Pat LaFontaine at center ice. LaFontaine's pass to Makala. Makala moves right in, shoots. Oh, and it went wide. He had the opportunity and missed the net. Here's LaFontaine out of the corner. Across to Makala. Mason robs him. Langway slaps it off the board. This hockey game could be over. It's not. What a stop by Mason. People here all get into the seat. He missed two tremendous saves. And that's an attempt to end to Mason. That day contended for a check with Tom. Randy Boyd out for the first time in the overtime. Breaks up the play at center and gave the puck to Tom. Richard Tom flips it to Trache, comes over the line. Trache through some traffic, backhands it in front, ends up at the left point. Randy Boyd with a shot that misses the target. Flatley chases it to right wing. Into Trache. Trache trying to get it away from Ridley, does. Trache puts it in front, that's blocked by Stevens. And the Caps start out four on two. Ridley to Gartner on right wing. Drop pass, Murphy lets him go, and it's blocked by Rudy. Out of the corner, the Islanders cleared out of their own zone. Flatley has it at center. Flatley is over the Washington line, putting on the brakes, waits for some help. The pass to Gord Deneen is shot blocked by Stevens. Basson moved in and it was knocked away. Francis Getty has dumped it down into the Islanders zone and back goes Deneen. We played four minutes of the third sudden death overtime period at the Capitol Center. Basson taking the pass from Conroy. Moves into the Washington zone. Basson's pass deflected as he had Wayne Sutter headed for the front of the net. Langway moves it out into center. Francis Getty pokes it in around Deneen and got knocked down in the play. Basson has the puck. Bobby Basson works it to the left wing boards. Randy Wood clears it out into center ice. Lou Francis Getty shoots it right back in again. There's Gord Deneen with a pass to Dwayne Sutter. Sutter to Randy Wood to Gerald Diddick. Diddick sends LaFontaine over the line, coming right in on Mason. LaFontaine shoots, Mason makes the save. Wood's backhander is blocked by Stevens. A battle for it. Wayne Sutter, no goal. It's in the goal mouth and covered by Mason as the Islanders were right on the doorstep again. They're coming closer and closer every moment, every time they get an opportunity, but Mason has been absolutely heroic. Pat LaFontaine, here he is in again, goes to the backhand. He couldn't lift it up. 
There's another shot by Randy Wood, stopped as Stevens blocked it, knocked it away. Gould skated by the puck, Dwayne Sutter hammered it. Look at the catch by Mason, he's got it in his glove and hangs on. Andy Van Halleman right behind. Here's Miko Makula, went to the forehand, faked the backhand and shot it wide. He was in all alone. Pat LaFontaine's been in all alone. The Islanders are really putting on a show here, but Mason is equal to each time. Here's Miko Makala with an opportunity for a one-timer. Look at the stop as Mason ripped across the net, diving over, makes the stop, controlled the rebound, knocked it into the corner. Well, start on the face-off here. Matt LaFontaine and Bob Gould. Gilbert on the left, Mackle on the right, LaFontaine got the draw, Boyd shot, just wide on the stick side of Mason, Mackle in after it, kicks it behind the net, Murphy takes over for the catch, Murphy checked by LaFontaine, and Pat couldn't get around Murphy on the second effort, and Gould gets to center ice, gives the puck to Kelly Miller on left wing, Miller moves in, centers, Gould with a shot, that missed the target, ends up on the left side, Murphy's clearing attempt goes over the glass and into the seat. in Classic Contest, presented by Panasonic. The Islanders in seven game deciding games, their history has been a win at Pittsburgh, one to nothing, a loss to Philadelphia, both in 1975, that one was four to one, and then in 78, they lost to Toronto, or I should say we did, two to one, when Lanny McDonald scored in overtime. But they didn't go this long. Or oh, that one didn't. Kenny Morrow clearing the puck up right wing to Dwayne Sutter to Bob Basson. Basson brings it over the line. The pass to Dwayne Sutter. He shoots. Blocking glove save as Mason slid out to the left. And here's Pavanka. Pavanka plays it off the boards. Away from Janssen and down into the Islander zone. Morrow going after it. Francis Getty comes in quickly. Francis Getty ends up on top of the puck and there's no further play. Monday night, one of these teams will be at the Spectrum in Philadelphia for the opening game of a best of seven final series in the Patrick Division. The Flyers, having eliminated the New York Rangers, have been idle since Thursday, and whoever they face will have gone the distance here tonight. This morning, as it is now, yeah. as we approach 1 a.m. in the East, now you look around and there's not many empty seats. Obviously, there's a few people have left, but you can almost count the seats. No one wants to give up. They think that any minute that this is going to be over, and it has had lots of opportunities, but it hasn't happened. Rudy dropping the puck off. They've counted that as a shot on goal. Not in from center ice, and Morrow clears it up the right side to Makula. Makula carries the puck over the Washington line, cut inside with a pass to LaFontaine. Miller all over him. Gilbert after it. Taken out by Blum, and Langway starts from back of the net. Rod Langway to Gaetan Duchesne. Stripped of the puck by Diddick. Langway backboard has given it to John Blum. Off the boards, out of the reach of Miller. Lighter with it. The Gilbert drops it in over the line. And goes back. The Langway, it slipped away from the captain. Recovers quickly. Lays it out into center ice for Duchesne. Now to Miller. Miller dumps it in. Lighter knocks it down. Up the left side, out of the reach of Flatley. They rule the Caps could have played it. Langway gets to the puck. Flatley gets to him. Now Crom and Duchesne bump on the boards. Richard Crom had it knocked away. Trache with it at center ice. Over to Conroy. He gulped it in around the glass. Crom goes after it. Knocked away from him and deflected out into center ice. Gordy Deneen knocks it down. Shoots it back in. The Islanders get back on side as Langway picks up the puck. Gave it to Murphy. Murphy off the boards, out to center ice. Ridley after it. Checked by Conroy, and Deneen takes over. Gave it to Conroy. To Kerr, missed him, and went right to Murphy. Steps over the line. Murphy coming in on goal. Goes to the backhand, then turns. Comes all the way back to the point, and shot it off Trache. To Kerr. Kerr over center ice. To Trache on right wing. Trying to play it in around Stevens. Alan Kerr does, and then he is checked by Stevens. Stevens up to Christian, to Pavanka. Pavanka coming in on left wing, into the corner, played it toward the net, and it's cleared wide. Christian fires it around the boards. Francis Getty takes it here on left wing. 
Who Francis Getty shot it wide. Basson races to the left wing boards but can't clear it out. Christian gets to it, dumped it to the corner. Francis Getty looks for somebody in the open. Everybody covered. He goes back in the net, puts it in front for Morrow. Cleared by Alan Kerr, but couldn't handle it. Jensen off left wing. Centers, and Kerr broke up that pass. Alan Kerr brings the Islanders over center ice. The pass to Dwayne Center is stolen. Goes to Basson. Basson breaks in. Can't make the play at the last second. Gets to the puck again. Basson takes the point. Finish by his end toward the net. Knocked down by Dwayne Sutter. Sutter from back of the goal. Drops it in to Alan Kerr. Kerr draws a crowd as Hatcher is all over him. The puck came loose and Pavanka fires it around the boards. Didick knocked it down. Gave it to Dwayne Sutter. He's too well covered. Didick dropped it back in over the line again. But here's Francis Getty. Got it right at Gerald Didick. Then it comes up the right wing. The pass, long pass to Makula. In front to LaFontaine, and he steered it just wide. Now plays it for Makula. Makula back of the net to Randy Wood. Wood put it out in front. LaFontaine can't get to it. The Caps start out. Over center ice comes Gould. Playing it around lighter, but Makula recovers at the blue line. It's passed to Randy Wood. Wood gives it to LaFontaine. Around the check is taken down. Drops it back, but outside the line. Makula has fed Conroy. Waited for his teammates, and then dumped one high over Mason's net. Duchesne with it. Goes back of the goal with a pass to Hatcher. Hatcher dumps it to center ice. Here's Gord Deneen. Deneen to Flatley. Breaks over the line with a shot. Just went wide. Andy Wood ties up Murphy, but the puck is nudged ahead for Miller. He clears it into center ice. The Islanders with the momentum at the moment. Deneen has sent Flatley over the line to Pat LaFontaine. He shoots just wide. Flatley after it, gets it to Crom. Off the left wing boards to Flatley in front. LaFontaine too well covered. Duchesne slaps it out of there. Kenny Morrow will go back for the Islanders. This is going to be an icing call as the Islanders have been buzzing in that Washington end of the ice. We have played 12 minutes and 14 seconds of the third sudden death overtime. We are reaching the stage of two complete games being written into the book. Trying to decide a best of seven series. Well, you've got the KGB line, although you're missing one player. You've got Jensen out instead of Miller with Duchesne and Gould. But they're out against Randy Wood. Look out. Wood trying to get in around. Hatcher goes back to the net. Off balance. Bacala gets to the puck now. Randy Wood has broken his stick, trying to tie up the puck, and Hatcher kicks it loose to LaFontaine, comes out, shoots, Mason on the short side, made the stop. LaFontaine without a stick, couldn't bat it by anybody, and here comes Duchesne down right way. Duchesne across the blue line, drops the puck off, and Randy Wood not cooled down and able to get to the puck in time to clear it. Back is Hatcher. Hatcher around the boards, intercepted. Crom put it in front, but Hatcher was there to Bob Gould. Slapped it to the line. Morrow brought it back in offside, and play is called. Kind of passes that end up being intercepted. Washington flailing away. The Islanders looking much cooler now. The Islanders seem to be skating a little better. They've taken over the territorial play. It's been a long time since we've made a statement like save by Kelly Rudy. 2-2, 6.53 remaining in the third overtime. Gardner with Ridley and Christian out on the ice now. Always Langway or Scott Stevens. This time it's Murphy with Langway. For the Islanders, Brian Trotche, Crom, and Flatley. Been a fairly consistent line throughout the hockey game. Murphy has shot the puck into the end of their zone. Randy Boyd goes after it. Boyd up the right side to Flatley. Checked by Rod Langway. And the puck loose in the corner, but Morrow gets back. Around to Brian Trotche. Trotche to Boyd off his skates. Picks it up again at center. Feeds Flatley on right wing. Patrick Flatley to Randy Boyd. Boyd with a backhander that hit the side of the net, and Mason scoops it up in the goal mouth and holds it. That's the dangerous kind of play as far as Washington's concerned. A puck just kind of lazily backhanded towards the net with a lot of legs, sticks, and arms laying around. Flatley to Randy Boyd. He goes to the backhand. 
Moving over, Langway, there's the shot, deflected. It come off the side of the net, got to the front of the net, and Mason put his hand on it to stop the play. Players are changing now just about every 20 or 30 seconds if possible. One rush, and that's about it. Players are spent now with one rush, and that's players that are in good shape. It is Trache, Crom, and Kerr for the Islanders. Conroy and Dedean at the point. They start to wave those towels, the sea of white. Trache beats his man, gets it back to Gord Dineen. Across to Conroy, lets one go, and it just missed. Crom takes it in his skates, gets it back to Dedean. Dineen shot went wide. John Blum after it. Blum has cleared it out to center ice. Conroy cut it off and shot it right back in again. It bounces to Mason. There's Stevens. Stevens up to Adams, into center ice to Martin. Grant Martin backhands it in and then goes for a rest as Conroy goes for the puck. Around behind the net, up the boards, out into center ice. Hatcher broke his stick as he shot it back into the Islander zone. Offside is the call against Washington. We've played 14 minutes and 8 seconds of the third sudden death overtime period. I'm glad it's not a shootout. <laughs> says you can't play back-to-back -back games. Huh? <laughs> Going to play back-to-back to back to back the way this is going. But as the players weary and tire, the chances become slimmer and slimmer. But I still have to think, I said this so many times, I still have to favor the Islanders because they are a younger team. They seem a little fresher. Washington has not been able to mount a sustained offensive attack now for almost all of this overtime period. Kenny Leiter dancing on those skates, shoots it in from center. Mason reaches out to grab it for Stevens. Stevens leads the rush. Got it from outside the line. Jensen in after to bounce on Rudy and is taken by Didick. Golfs it around the board. Stevens at the left point. Let's one go. And that deflected off Pavanka. Here's Greg Gilbert starting out. Gilbert down the left side. Shoots it in from center ice. It was blocked at the line. Hatcher up with it. Check from behind. Now Bob Basson turns. Bobby Basson over the center ice strike. The pass to Dwayne Sutter misses the stick. Sutter and Stevens after it together. They grapple along the end board. Stevens down, controlling the puck. To now Ferguson for a face off. With 504, not that really the time remaining amounts to anything because one goal wins it, but you still have five minutes and four seconds to play before you can get a full-fledged rest again. Things have slowed down now to almost animated slow motion as there's just not that much left in the bodies of the players on either side, but I still have to think that Makala, LaFontaine, and Randy Wood fine conditioning and younger and Randy Wood remember didn't have a lot of ice time during the regular game part and the first overtime and Shane shot it in off the boards here's Randy Wood number 11 a long pass to Makala Makala moves up on Langway got checked at the blue line and Morrow goes back for it Kenny Morrow trying to get away from Miller lost it at the blue line Duchesne comes down left wing Gaetan Duchesne with a shot. Rudy the save as it deflected off LaFontaine and ends up on the right side. McAuliffe's cleared it to center ice. Randy Wood knocks it in around Murphy and goes after it. Wood knocked off balance, put it out in front off Langway. Langway moves it up the boards. Dave Christian gets to center ice. Lead pass to Gartner. Gartner fakes it over to Gould and it bounced off his stick. They broke in two on one. Gould dumps it out of the corner. A pile up at the side of the net and there's no further play. What a close call. Mike Gardner, his pass a little too hard, a little too high. They had him on the run, a two-on-one break, and they did not get a shot on goal again. I keep going back to the first period. This game would have never reached overtime. There's Gardner. He faked the shot, made the pass. The pass too hard for Gould to handle. It went off into the corner, a two-on-one break and nothing 70 shots to 50 favoring the washington capitals numbers i have never heard before nor i 120 shots on goal kelly rudy has faced 70 shots 
Can you imagine just taking that many shots? Oh. Your, your arms would be tired, never mind your legs to carry it to get into position to do it. At a time like this, don't you wish the Elias Sports Bureau handled hockey stats? <laughs> Kameen down the right side, got checked, the puck dumped in, Gartner in after it, Gartner puts it in front, oh, Christian shot went up, Rudy's right skate, Flatley brings it out, Patrick Flatley over center has dumped it into the corner, Christian and Crom arrive together, Christian from back of the net, now gets help from Stevens, Flatley chases him out, over to Gartner, Leiter knocked it down at the blue line, into Trotje to Flatley, back of the net, out in front, it's cleared by Stevens, Gartner takes it in the right wing corner for the Caps and fires it high down into the Islander zone. Kelly Rudy slips it across to Gerald Dittick. Both teams in the middle of changes. Quick pass to Dwayne Sutter. Can't get over center ice. Leiter has it at the Islander blue line. Alan Kerr and Basson trying to get to the Washington line. Do and the puck squirts in over the blue line. Langway put a hit on Kerr. There's Basson trying to get a stick on it. It comes back to Dwayne Sutter. Sutter kicks it in along the boards. Alan Kerr trying to walk out of the corner. Tried to short side it, and it's cut off and held by Mason. Two minutes and 59 seconds remaining in the third overtime period. I don't know where Rod Langway got the energy to hammer away at Alan Kerr the way he did. Mason ends up corralling the puck against the goalpost as Kerr continued on. Kelly Rudy, here's the play. Mike Gardner back. The shot, I believe, went wide of the net. There's the shot by Christian. I think it just breezed inside the goalpost as Christian took the pass from Mike Gardner. He one-timed it, but he got it too far to the right of Kelly Rudy. It's the kind of a play has he if he hits the net. Washington with an opportunity on a rebound. Gardner coming out of the corner. Jensen was moving in toward the net. Had Christian hit the goal, even a stop by Kelly Rudy would have afforded another opportunity for Washington. But the shot, wide of the net. La Fontaine and Gould on the faceoff to the right of Bob Mason. John D'Amico scoots some people back in outside the faceoff circle, and the Islanders go for the puck. Greg Gilbert back to Janssen. His shot blocked in front, and here's Hatcher. Up the middle to Gould. Gould and Duchesne come over the line. Gould holding the puck, walks in, shoots, Rudy makes the save. Gilbert plays it up along the boards. D'Amico Macula, and he golfs it out to center ice. Pat LaFontaine with it. Drops it back to Morrow as they reorganize. Kenny Morrow ahead to Macula. Macula gets over the Washington line. Hatcher took a swing at him and goes back to the puck now. Hatcher to Stevens. Stevens' pass went off Crom. Ridley picks it up and shot it off the skates of linesman Ron Finn, right to Gord Deneen. Over to Conroy, banks it off the boards into center ice. Trache moving up into the Washington zone, poked it in around Hatcher, and Christian is there. Dave Christian to Kevin Hatcher to Mike Ridley. Ridley at center ice. That's to the left side and shoots it in, flatly blocks it and clears it out. It's loose inside the Washington zone. Back goes Langway. Less than two minutes to go. Third overtime. Langway to Christian. Dave Christian spins back there, but he couldn't hold the pass. But it was offside to begin with. And we have a play stoppage for a minute and 37 seconds before they can go back to the dressing room. Howie continues on as the Redskins keep falling. This is the longest game in cup play since March 26, 1961. On that night, Murray Balfour scored at 12-12 of the third overtime. Chicago beat Montreal 2-1 at the Chicago Stadium. 1961, Murray Balfour. Chicago beat Montreal 2-1. 61, not the year that Toronto ended up beating Chicago. For the Stanley Cup? No, I think Chicago won the Stanley Cup that year. That's right. Excuse me. The following year, the Leafs. Whatever. It's getting late. It's fine. Yeah, it's I a, haven't been out this late in <laughs> so long. The memory is starting to fade. Oh. Gray matter taking over. So you know what the players are going through. Of course, they're stimulated with the fact that they're out there doing something. Hardest part is just sitting here. 
Ryan Tanner makes the play to the mean and is not grabbed by Mason. Bill Henry is out of the forward line at the moment, getting his first work in the overtime. This organization is going to... They'll line up again, Bacala, Wood, and LaFontaine. Lighter on the left side, Conroy on the right side of the Allender defense. Stevens and Blum together on defense for the Caps. They have Gould, Christian, and Duchesne as their forwards. The Islanders get to the draw. Here's Randy Wood. The pass to Steve Conroy. Centered one that was cut off. Cleared out by Gould. Conroy picks it up at center ice. He's given it to Leiter. Leiter shoots it in wide of Bob Mason. LaFontaine in effort. Stevens gets to it first. Thanks it off to Shane here at the left point. Now Mackle's pass, picked up by Randy Wood. He was bumped as he goes to the corner for it now. Plays it away from Gould. Gould picks it up and starts out. The pass to Christian. Dave Christian slips it down into the Islanders zone. Gould breaks in after it. Centered one off Rudy's stick. It bounces and cleared away by Leiter. Nico Makala breaks down the right side. Over center, three on two. Makala across the Washington line with a drive. Mason the save, the puck loose. And picked up by LaFontaine. Rounds the net, got tripped up by Stevens. The Caps move out. Francis Getty into center ice. Over the Islander line, Francis Getty moves in and tripped up Rudy the save and the net has come off as Francis Getty collided with it. What a move by Francis Getty. Came off the bench, he was fresh. He had it up in him to take it around the Islander defender. He got a play at the net as he started to fall. Couldn't control his leg. Let's take a look as Francis Getty goes outside Thomas Johnson. There, he's got him beaten. There, the trip up. Francis Getty's falling. He gets the shot away. Kelly Rudy makes the save. Francis Getty knocks the post off its moorings. And the play is stopped. Miko Makala didn't look like a dangerous play to start out with, but then he got to that position. What a stop here by Mason. You have to understand that Mason has to be tired just like the rest of the players. And he got his left hand up. Point blank range, Miko Makala. That's one of the things, although players are tired, if they get that much time in that kind of a situation, they can still zip it. Their hands don't get nearly as tired as the rest of their body. Richard Crom plays it around behind the net as the horn sounds. We have now played three sudden death overtime periods at the Capitol Center in Landover, Maryland. The last goal was scored at 14.37 of the third period regulation time. And now, after 120 minutes, it is still a 2-2 tie. No crunches. You're watching Islanders Classic Contest, presented by Panasonic on FSN New York. They didn't get a shot on goal. That was when Mike Gardner misfired his pass across to Bobby Gould. It was a little too high. It was off the ice, as a matter of fact. Gould couldn't handle it. It went off to the corner of the rink. It was a two-on-one break, and had Gould been able to one-time it, it was in that kind of a position where the only thing Kelly Rudy could do was hope that it either one misses the net or two hits him. Gartner breaks into the Islanders zone, trying to get it around Wood, put it across in front, and Makala is there. The fourth overtime underway. LaFontaine's pass to Makala. Nico Makala brings it over the line, gave it to Randy Wood, around one check, Wood holds it, lets it go, and it went just wide. Makala from back of the net, puts it out in front, the shot blocked by Mason, Wood on the rebound, that's blocked. Here's LaFontaine, and he can't get it out in front any further. Randy Wood takes it away from Gartner, then is checked by Murphy. Comes back to Conroy, his shot to a screen is blocked, and out comes Gartner for Washington. Down the right wing board, Buckner, the pass across is offside as Duchesne got it into the Islander end of the ice. Players cannot stop even now coming out of the dressing room after a 15-minute break. They can't break their stride. They're just hoping they're not offside at that point. But they were. The Islanders with another good scoring opportunity. Randy Wood had a shot at it. One from the point position. The Islanders open very quickly. The last four overtime game ended at 109 when Maurice the Rocket Richard of the Montreal Canadiens scored to beat Detroit 3-2 at the old Detroit Olympia. Hatcher moving in behind the Islander net. Can't get out in front. 
Drops it off. Brian Trache picks it up. Trache banks it off the boards into center ice. The Caps get to it. Christian puts it in the Islander zone, and there's Kenny Morrow. Morrow shot it high in the air. It lands and bounces into the Washington zone, wide of the net. And it's icing against the Islanders. A minute and 11 seconds on now in the fourth sudden death overtime period. Now we continue to break records and establish, well, we haven't established new ones yet, but we've certainly broken some past records. Just in longevity alone have gone by at least three different teams and overtime records just in the time. As I mentioned, the last overtime game that went four overtimes, March the 27th, 1951, and it was decided at 109. So we're beyond that now. Faceoff coming in the circle to the right of Kelly Rudy. Bob Basson squaring for the draw against Pavanka. Basson wins the faceoff. The puck ends up back of the net. Morrow gets the grips on Adams. They continue to battle for it. Morrow moves it into the corner, and Basson goes after it. Basson up the right wing boards. Into the Washington zone, sets the check of Stevens, but Murphy moves over. Murphy plays it around the board. Johnson with it at the left point. Centered one in front of us, knocked down. Basson can't control it. Out comes Pavanka. Pavanka over the line. Morrow chases him wide. The shot up high on Rudy off the left shoulder, and he's got it in the catching glove. Not a hard shot, but they hurt even that much more this late in a hockey game. As Pavonka down the left wing side, he's played better the last few games. That puck deflected off Morrow's stick, rose quickly, and hit Kelly Rudy up around the shoulder area. He was able to hang on to it and stop the play. Bobby Basson a moment ago darted down the right wing side. He got in behind. He got around. Scott Stevens, but Murphy, now whenever they team up Murphy and Scott Stevens, the Islanders have been quite successful. It's the first time in the overtime that they've been used together. But game six, the Islanders picked them clean. Gordy Deneen moving the puck up along the boards in his own zone, recovers again and comes down the left side. Shot it in wide of Mason on the stick side. Rod Langway takes a look. Plays it to the left side to Duchesne. Comes over center ice and dumps it in. Miller after it. Miller knocked down by Randy Wood. Here's Gould with the puck. Bobby Gould back to Kevin Hatcher. Threw a screen and it went over the crossbar. Makala recovers on right wing. And clears it out to center ice. Langways. Leaves it for Duchesne. Duchesne's pass to Kelly Miller. He is checked at LaFontaine with it. Randy Wood on right wing now. Wood steps over the line, dumps it in, but offside against the Islanders is the call. 17-33, fourth overtime period. Now a quarter to two in the morning. Players again start the period of much spirited team, but teams, I should say, both skating fairly well. But that will change after about the second shift for each player. They'll be back to dragging and being spent after about 20 minutes, 20 seconds, 25 seconds maximum. Murphy here on the right side of the Caps defense, out to Ridley. Dumps it in, Richard Crom chases it. Gartner right on top of him. Crom can't get away from Gartner. Now Christian comes into the corner. Gartner trying to put it in front. Leiter cleared that to Trache. Trache dumps it to center. Stevens is back. Stevens shoots it in wide of Kelly Rudy. Lighter from back of the goal up the left wing to Brian Trache. Murphy knocked it away. Centered one. It went wide as Diddick took Ridley down in front of the net. Alan Kerr out to Ken Leiter. Leiter trying to move in on this left wing side. Stevens comes back for the puck. Scott Stevens around the boards. It'll be picked up by Kenny Morrow. Dumps it back of the goal. Dale Henry in after it. Henry pulled it away from the check, played it back to the net. Kenny Morrow moves in to get a stick on it. There's Christian for the Caps. He is checked. Morrow with it. Knocks it down again. Continues to battle Christian for control of it. It's dug loose by Alan Kerr. Kerr comes out of the corner. Back it goes to Janssen, but out into the center ice zone. Janssen gives it to Basson. Back into his own territory. Rudy holds it up. 
Johnson back for it. And out he comes. Johnson to Dwayne Sutter. Sutter over the Washington line. Close line to the play, but gave it to Bass, and he shot it in deep. Dwayne Sutter back of the net. And as Langway leaned into Henry, the net came off the hinges. Islanders continue to press. Dale Henry now getting a little more ice time. You may see the coaches inserting some new blood one at a time. Keep waiting for Kostelik because he came out in the first overtime. No, it was the second overtime. Elm, believe it or not, it's so difficult now to keep track of. Uh, it's impossible, of, of isn't it? Three periods and three overtimes. We're into the fourth overtime. As to who did what when. So you'll have to bear with us if we do not get it perfect. But Kostelik had one shift, and he seemed to do well. He played a pretty good hockey game for them. Of course, Dale Henry is starting to see bits and pieces of more ice time. Even a six-hour videotape, your VCR couldn't handle it. Randy Woodshot has gone wider than that. John Blum clears it, but Makala is there to knock it down. It's rolled along the end boards, and Langway goes after the puck. So does Randy Wood. Dumped it in deeper. Bob Gould with it for the Caps. Gould starting out. Comes to center ice and shoots it in. Offside. So face off in the center ice area. You are a traveling movie theater. You are a roving jukebox. You have no wires to hold you back. Introducing the HP Pavilion Notebook. Flatley breaks up the Washington rush down the right side, then got checked, and Duchesne has dumped it in. A bounce wide. Randy Boyd has it. Lays it around the boards to Flatley to the line. Stevens held it in. Dumped one into the corner, and Boyd gets to the puck. Up the wing to Richard Crom. Crom with a pass to Trotche. To the right side off Flatley's skates. He tries to get in around Stevens. Two tired players going after it. Comes out of the corner. Flatley. Well, now it goes to Richard Crom with a shot wide of Mason. Randy Boyd moves in off the left point. Boyd nudges it back of the net to Trotche. Put it out in front of him. Back to Crom, tackling the point. It's Crom around a check. Let's it go. That hits Scott Stevens. Stevens trying to move it out. Does all the way down the ice. This will be an icing as Morrow goes back. See Castellic out on the ice too, Jake. That's the first time he's been out in a couple of periods as we talked about him. They put him back. Number five, is that the announcement they're making here? There's Bill Torrey as he stands. That's the exit where the Islanders leave and come back onto the ice. The entrance or exit. Torrey standing down. David Poyle, that's him. You can just see his head up in the top row with the green light behind him. Whether that has any significance or not, we'll have to wait and see. From the face off, the cap start out. Pavanka into center ice. Played it to Adams on left wing. Adams in deep, put it in front. Nobody there for Washington, and the Islanders break over center ice. It's Basson carrying the puck. And back of the play, a whistle. The net in the Islander end has come loose. Well, we get a play stoppage, and John D'Amico goes back to check the post. The other thing that we haven't talked about that becomes a consideration in this kind of a hockey game, this is Adams as he bears down on Ken Morrow. Trying to make a play in front. Everybody's covered. Puck goes behind. Kelly Rudy gets his leg tied up with the on-rushing Washington player, Jensen. But one of the considerations, of course, if you don't win, it doesn't really matter so much. But if you do, injuries. In mm -hmm. hockey games such as this, players are very tired. The head says go. The body says no. They can either injure themselves or in collision like that, you could get hurt. Langway brings the caps over the Islander line and shoots one. Rudy kicks that aside. Here's Murphy off the right point. Centered one that is blocked by Janssen. The caps get to it. Greg Adams turns. Now Pavanka shoots it wide. Comes all the way back to Langway. Fires one toward the net that skips wide on the deflection. Adams puts it right out in front. The caps can't get to it. Greg Gilbert has given it to Dwayne Sutter. Sutter comes over, center ice, shoots from the blue line. 
Ends up back of the net. Wayne Sutter in after his own rebound. Puts it out in front. Here's Steve Conroy with a pass to Alan Kerr and it went off his skate. Again, Mason reluctant to handle the puck. Gardner's taken down. There's a shot off the... Was that a save of the goalpost? To the left of Mason. And the Caps up with the puck. Ridley moves it ahead to Gartner. One-on-one -on -one with Conroy. The drive club save as Rudy knocks it out of the air. Kelly Rudy banks it up the left wing boards. Ridley knocked it down. Conroy gets to it. They put it around to the right side for Alan Kerr. Kerr takes a look. Pulls it away from Gartner. The Islanders move up over center ice. Kerr's pass to LaFontaine. Gets over the blue line. Played it to the open wing. It's cleared out by Blum to Gartner. Gartner shoots one. It's blocked by Randy Boyd. Boyd plays it to the blue line. Blum knocks it down. John Blum's pass is intercepted. Out comes Flatley. Patrick Flatley plays it across to center ice for Makala to Ken to uh, Diddick rather. Diddick over the line. His shot is blocked by Blum. LaFontaine feeds Makala on right wing. Around behind the net to Flatley. Flatley spotted Boyd. He let the shot go and it went off the stick of Gould. Mackle off right wing, put it in the glove of Mason, and again the net comes off. I don't think that thing is anchored at all. Uh, it's players, so tired. Players are so tired, Jake. They're, they can't avoid the net. They keep falling into it when they're near it. What they're looking for is that net, believe it or not, to support them. So when they walk into it, it just pops off the hinges. Flatly, he makes the turn. The puck comes in toward the net. There's Mason as he gloves it. There's a lean into the goalpost, and it looks as though it does come off rather easily. Mike Gardner, get a shot. He gets a shot away. He's trying to set up the screen with Steve Conroy. Kelly Rudy, pretty save as he stretches out his catching mitt and flags it down. We have played seven minutes and 33 seconds of this, the fourth sudden death overtime period. Believe it or not, the time really zips along. When you think oh. back, when you think back that we've played... <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> hey, Dad, you'll have to tell me about it tomorrow along with the Easter Bunny story. Rache on the faceoff, winning the draw. Rich Crom can't get to it. Murphy has played it to Stevens. Rache steps in front of him. Rache plays it around the boards. Alan Kerr and Pavanka battle for it. Murphy is there as well. Kick loose to Richard Crom. Out to Trache, and he couldn't get a stick on it. Bobby Gould is checked. Now Pavanka gets it right back to him. Trache takes it away. Waits and shoots it back in. A bounce right up on Mason. Offside is called. Once Mason made contact with the puck, the Islanders hadn't gotten back onside in time. Testy shot, a bouncer, Mason, of course, made a lunge at it. That's another indication, a uh, young goaltender, Mason, without a lot of experience. Now, an experienced goaltender would never have allowed that puck. There wasn't anybody. The Islanders were all heading out. He should have moved out quickly, put the pads together, and either caught it before it landed on the ice or made sure that that puck couldn't bounce anywhere near the net. He stayed back in the net. That's the wrong move. That puck, everything on side, takes a funny hop. It could get by him. There's a penalty right now, but they're certainly not going to call it as Jensen ties his skate up on the ice. Theoretically, that's a delay of the game and a penalty. <laughs> The Islanders into the Washington end of the ice. The puck goes to Stevens on the far side. Even Simon Legree would not call that as a penalty in this hockey game. Not a chance. <laughs> Murphy handling it on the Washington defense. Trying to get away from Dwayne Sutter. Skated into the boards. Basson comes up. And battle for it. Pavanka over to Stevens. To Adams. And Adams rifles it in around the boards. It comes all the way out to center ice on the left wing side. Dwayne Sutter drops it back to Leiter. Leiter, stick handling around Pavanka, gets over the line. Kenny Leiter, trying to go around Hatcher, center, and it ends up in the far wing. Gord Deneen moves in, around Adams. Deneen out of the corner, goes back to the net. Sets up a screen in front, then his shot is blocked. Goes back to LaFontaine, turns, lets it go, he scores! The Islanders have won it in overtime, 3-2. My, oh my, oh my, Kelly Rooney being congratulated, a mob scene at center ice, another one in the Washington fan. It is all over. The goal is scored at 8.47 of the fourth sudden death overtime period. A screenshot by Pat LaFontaine as he turned and wheeled 15 feet inside the blue line. 
and it's in the net. A stunned Washington Capitol crowd, a stunned Washington Capitol team. They're motionless. They're standing there doing nothing. They're not sure that the game is over. Pat LaFontaine, as he picked off a puck, just inside the blue line, he blindly turned and fired it, and it either deflected or went straight into the net. And it's an overtime goal, fourth overtime goal by Pat LaFontaine, 8.47. The Islanders still congratulating each other. Now we'll have the ceremonial handshake. As the players line up, here's how to play the ball. Ford Deneen circled the wagons, took a shot. Hatcher broke it up. There's Dale Henry in front of the net. Adams in front of the net. Pat LaFontaine turns and fires it, and it's in the net. In behind Mason, and it's all over. At two minutes to two in the morning. Unbelievable. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. There isn't a whole lot of strength in those handshakes. And I just want to make a quick comment here. The first Islander to go to the Washington goaltender was Bill Smith. Smith doesn't believe in his handshake. He will not participate. He did go to Mason in the goal mouth, patted him on the shoulder. What a brilliant game by Mason. What a great game by Kelly Rudy as you see him going through the handshake. Rudy and Pete Peters. Pete has to be telling him how impressed he was with his performance tonight. Now the Islanders will face the Philadelphia Flyers at the Spectrum beginning on Monday evening. And we can say in safety that is tomorrow night. And in this game is a record book for the second time. No other team. I should not say it that way. Only one other team other than the Islanders have ever come back from a three to naught, three to nothing, or three to one deficit and one a four, a seven game series, winning either three or four games straight. Pat LaFontaine's fourth goal in this series from Deneen and Leiter at 8.47 of the fourth. Sudden death overtime period and your final score is the Islanders three, the Capitals two.